Hero Brian, the most talked about entity, creepy pasta, real or fake, but believer like me, I want to know what signs to look out for. Just so when he appears in my world, I know what I'm looking out for, you know? And that's what we're going to be diving into today. Coming in at number 10, redstone torches. Redstone torch is an item when it's placed, it can activate redstone wires. It can work as a power source for up to 15 blocks of wire, and it has half of the light as a normal torch, and therefore it's not recommended recommended for a light source, but the low level of lighting, being able to hardly see anything in front of you, keep note though players, aka Herobrine can place these torches down too. So regular ones may be to your advantage, to brace yourself though because once you start seeing these red torches that you didn't put there yourself, Herobrine must be lurking nearby watching your every move. The fact that this is even a thing, like bro, why can't we just sit down in our caves to see regular lighting? Our homie Brian has this set up like it's a damn bat cave, alright? All he's missing is the suit, the car, and the deep voice. I'm Hero Brian. You know, that's my iteration on Batman, but Hero Brian, eh, whatever. Coming in at number 9, random fires. Another sign Homie Brian is in your world is the random fires that can be happening all over your map, especially when you're not dealing with fire. You might just be minding your own business, doing what you do in your crafting world, and sometimes you get really deep into the task at hand, not even worrying about your surroundings. But after you're done, you look up to your journey, sorry, but after you're done, you look up or journey back to see flames of death all around you, and no matter where you go, the fire just seem to keep happening. What force of nature this is. It's Heobrine. This is another sign my homie may be in your world and if he is and you see that burning ish all around you, sir, if you're trying to smoke some tree, just say so. No need to set my whole forest ablaze. That ain't good for the environment. Stick to the herbs and spices, my good friend homie Brian. I mean, I could probably hook you up. Just come to my world and don't burn my trees down. Jeez. Coming in at number eight, random signs. Master Diamond Kings encounter a bunch of signs across the map in binary code. That is not the one thing to know about the signs being placed. They are meant to be placed in the ground, never on trees. And the words that come on the text, wooden panel, Hero Brian is definitely around dropping these signs. Maybe he's leading you to your death or loot. But let's be real, guys. Why are we gonna follow the signs of a dead man? Let alone some signs get crazy with the wording telling you, I'm here, I'm watching you, or wrong move. This way, rest in peace. None of these signs sound welcoming whatsoever. You, my homie, and all but fam. At least leave some proper signs, like you know, some welcoming signs, like let's go this way, the Chiba farm is that way. I would enjoy some of that, you know? Nope, none of that. Coming in at number seven, overpowered mobs. Hero Brian is dirt nasty hands down. He had to be on the list for the most OP player in the game. I don't care if he's real or fake because in my eyes he's real okay. Hear me out. The fact that he could summon any hostile mob and make them turn berserk even I would want to bring back some people from the dead but from all the movies that I've watched bringing back people from the dead never goes well. They are either brain dead or want your blood. Yeah, I'll keep the mob spawning to creative mode and to my homie Hero Brian. If you go around your world noticing mobs are just overpowered and you just can't take care of them so easily, Hero Brian may just be around controlling those mobs like the puppeteer he is. Coming in at number six. Perfect pyramids of sand. Perfect sand pyramids are found in the ocean. Sometimes if you dig the top block, you will find Hero Brian's loot. Also, a desert pyramid called a desert temple is a sandstone structure sometimes generated in deserts where a hidden box containing loot is protected by TNT trap. Beware the traps and you will just be fine. But I told you, Hero Brian don't play, okay? If he is there, he definitely set this trap up. He's a master at trap setting. It's kind of insane. I mean, he is the almighty Hero Brian. You know, with all the powers he has, he's technically the power of creator mode in his fingers. Like, bro, call him purple and change his name to Thanos. That's pretty much what he is in the game. He's just that almighty dude. Midway through at number five, doors being open. One thing I absolutely hate is hearing doors open. And 
close unexpectedly like what the hell man I just want to be doing my own thing nice simple crafting and building not having to deal with some sudden feelings or should I say chilling feeling over your shoulder really and truly why do we have to deal with these things doors being open left right and center you know hero rhymes around but can he just open the door a little bit quieter maybe even get some WD-40 squeak down those hinges you know it might have to work, but I mean, at the end of the day, Hero Brian, he is in your world, and you know he's there when you hear those doors being opened. Coming in at number four, Vanilla versus Modded. Remember that in the real sightings, Hero Brian stalks players. In modified versions, Hero Brian attacks. The Legend of Hero Brian is a mod designed for modern versions of Minecraft that aims to add Hero Brian to the game with many new gameplay features, while also fitting in with the vanilla gameplay and keeping the scary theme surrounding Hero Brian while remaining relevant and fun in the larger mod packs, but still is a rare occurrence. And I'm telling you, it's gonna be very scary to see either Hero Brian in a modded version or in the vanilla version of your game. It doesn't matter. He will be there. It's scary. I'm a believer of Hero Brian. I do not care what anybody says, okay? Hate me if you want. I'm Crafting J. Going on to number three. Glowstone Towers. Glowstone is a light source block that emits a light level of 15. Glowstone can be found naturally in the nether, generating in clusters on the other side of the netherrack ceilings and in bastion remnants. Glowstone can be obtained through trading and wandering traders. And in Java edition, the journeyman level Kledric villagers sell one glowstone for four emeralds. Glowstones can be crafted using four glowstone dust. But what's the difference here is these glowstone towers are in your overworld. You just heard me say about the nether. Yeah, these glowstone towers being in your overworld, that definitely is another sign of Hero Brian being there. Why is these glowstone towers being sent up all over the place? I do not know. I am not swayed. I don't have that answer. But you know, I'm gonna tell you straight up, be wary of this man Hero. Coming in at number two, Scattered blood and Steve's head. Of course, that hero Brian has to leave a bloody massacre scene, let alone Steve's damn head. Like, what the F is going on here? Like, this scene is something out of a horror movie. There's blood splatters left, right, center, all over the walls, all over the floors. Like, if it was a crime scene, if I was honestly a police officer and had to go look at all of this blood all over the floor, I'd be like, yeah, you know, that's that's the case for uh, investigation here. It looks like there's also a full Footprint? Come on, Hero Brian, you gotta be a little bit smarter than that. And on top of it, you leave Steve's head at the damn scene, bro. Come on. But yes, this is also another sign of Hero Brian. Because like I said, you're going to see the blood. You're going to see the head of Steve. So yes, be wary of the man. And finally, at number one, he appears. Yeah, I said he appears. I had to drop this to number one because Hero Brian appearing in your world is the final and all factor of seeing the man. Yeah, fam, it's crazy. When he appears in your world, he's either stalking you from a distance, either he's behind the tree, he's looking at you from the distance, like I just said, or he's in the back just peeping over your shoulder. You're not gonna notice it because he's just like a creeper. He, except he doesn't hiss, okay? So one thing I must say, and one thing I do enjoy about this hero, Brian, is somewhat his creeping factor because you never know where he really is. No matter all the signs he might throw at you, no matter what he does to your overworld, when he appears, like I said earlier in one of the numbers, he can either be there to attack you or make your world a living hell. I don't want no living hell. That's why I call him my homie, bro. So if he appears in my world, which I hope he does, does it, but if he does, he's gonna come down to my Chiba farm and we gonna, you know, do a little zomp zomp. And there you have it, guys. Those were the top 10 scary signs for Hero Brian in your world. Let me know down low if you ever had Hero Brian come into your world. And like I said, I don't care. I believe that he's real. Okay, I have been crafting J. You gotta champion those who champion you, and I am Audi until the next time. Peace. Fun fact: Hero Brian has been around since 1985. <laughs> Oh man. Okay, we're at eight, we're at eight minutes already. Okay, we're doing we're doing pretty decent. Doing pretty decent, you know. I got these last these last two ones. I got a free. Well, we we good. All right. <clears throat>